government has deep interest in seeking to establish um, what you can call educational tourism relationships with countries across the world. But we have shown a keen interest in students from Africa. Um, Nigeria is one case in point. The current situation which now is before us uh, stems from some misunderstandings, some um, other issues which um, appear now to, to be playing out themselves in the, the, the public space. Um, so government, from the, the vantage points of its interest in the development of educational services, particularly from Africa, thought it necessary at th this stage to give a definitive um, position on this matter. That definitive position is that the government of Barbados support or supports these um, endeavors either through government's own initiatives or through the initiatives by private citizens or private businesses um, either here or have deep connections here um, in Barbados. The private, this private initiative, which obviously would have to be facilitated through governmental agencies vis-a-vis -vis the Barbados Community College, which is a provider of tertiary um, education, of higher education, is one of those agencies. We will also have our Ministry of Health uh, involved, um, the Office of the Chief Immigration Officer, the Immigration Department involved, because as you know, you would have to process um, student visas and things of this ilk. Um, so there was um, some involvement at that kind of level. We were not involved or engaged at the level of accommodation or, or things of that ilk. And, and I think that's where we've had some breakdown. And therefore, um, the expression of our concern. Over the last um, several days, as I said, the media um, was able to highlight um, some levels of difficulty that students were encountering. Um, but I, I would want to say that I, I am pleased with one of the um, newspapers were able to carry something highly positive um, today in that in the, as the orientation started, one of the principal persons involved in this private initiative and the students were busy going through the orientation so that would suggest that there is beginning to be some settling in some of the issues which presented themselves. Um, we expect that this will continue. Um, the government has appointed generally Dr. Derek Murray as its liaison um, between students um, the principal private um, entrepreneur to essentially keep us abreast of the progress of the matter, to be able, um, because um, um, Dr. Murray himself would have had some experience in the African continent, um, to be able to deal with some of the um, cultural, cultural um, issues which present themselves and basically as, as a, as a go-between between the government and, and the students here in Barbados. So um, you, you would recognize that beyond what we have been doing uh, before, that this is now an additional step to ensure that the students um, can be in Barbados and enjoy whatever this country has to offer any person who is from a, another country, as well as to be satisfied that the educational product that we provided to them would meet the quality and the standard that we know 
the educational product of the Barbados Community College um, has reached and will continue um, to reach. We are, we are hopeful that the citizens of Barbados would embrace the presence of the students in our midst and wherever they can assist in facilitating their presence here that they, they should do it without hesitation. Uh, suffice to say that there are Nigerians who's, uh, who are already studying in Barbados. So this is not essentially new, is that this is a unique project, but there are ni persons from Nigeria who are already studying in Barbados. The bulk of them study in medicine at one of a reason reasonably new, it's about three years, um, medical school here in Christ Church. And we expect that they're going to be, by September this year, this 2015, even more Nigerian students studying at that institution. And I believe you would have seen in the paper as well, um, or one of the papers as well, another Barbadian entrepreneur, female entrepreneur, who um, will be working with the University of the West Indies to ensure that more students um, from Nigeria or other parts of Africa also benefit from the education which we provide in Barbados through our various institutions. So essentially, these things are coming together, um, some, some planned and some sort of spontaneous in, in, their, in their outreach. Um, but we think it augurs well for Barbados as a country where um, our educational services can be looked at as a quality educational service and persons would want to benefit from that, particularly those um, persons from across several of the countries um, in Africa. So what has happened has been a bit unfortunate, but we're, we're pleased that things are settling down. And we as a, a government will continue to work with all the parties involved to ensure that um, whatever difficulties were at the root of some of what you saw expressed would uh, disappear or essentially dissipate so that what the students came for um, would be reached. Uh, Derek? It was just like this. Mm -hmm. Next time, bring something with wheels. This is my ministry. Bring something with wheels. <laughs> uh, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. The Commission for Pan African Affairs is a government agency. I need to make that clarification up front because there are some people who may not understand the difference between the Commission for Pan African Affairs and the general Pan-African community. The Commission for Pan-African Affairs is government, and as such, we awaited a directive from the government of Barbados in, to uh, intervene in um, the ongoing situation. And as the minister has said, we noticed that there's a settling and some um, positive developments um, on the issue. The commission is tasked with engaging the students the officials on behalf of government to make sure that this pioneering activity, and it is indeed a pioneering activity, um, um, can in the immediate and long run reap the benefits for Barbados, which we anticipate it can. The commission is aware uh, of government's seriousness about engaging Africa. There is a working group that comprises almost every ministry and several agencies across government to promote and engage trade with Africa. And there is um, ongoing work to promoting that. Since 2011, the Commission had prepared a fairly in-depth report on the possibilities of trading with Africa. And there are several areas where we can have some advantage, uh, and education is one of them. So we intend to ensure that this, this um, innovative, this um, novel approach to developing our economy, um, which is crucial if we are to uh, in 
the current global economic environment survive. Um, we want to ensure that any lessons learned, any missteps and so on, are not to reoccur in the future. And that we still support um, the Barbadian entrepreneurs at the center of the program, wherever the government can. At the same time, we are um, focused on dealing with the immediate issue of accommodation, as well as the, the general issues of generally engaging the students in a cultural, educational, um, and general developmental program in Barbados so that they can be ambassadors to testify to the hospitality and um, rich culture and rich way of life that we have to offer. Okay, I'm going to get Senator Husbands who these are some issues <coughs> for the urgency. Uh, Mr. Minister, there's not much that I can add, only to add my voice of support to both to what you have said and what the director of the Pan-African Commission has said. Uh, I think we are, with this press conference and the developments in the last couple of days, turning a page on this event. Uh, Barbados has a long history of providing educational services for uh, African people during the struggle against apartheid, many Namibians, Namibians. Uh, and other people from Southern Africa uh, were educated in Barbados. As a matter of fact, one of them lived at my house for a while. So we have uh, a, a, a rich history in this regard, and uh, we uh, intend to work certainly from our end to make this program a success. Yeah.